Hey, this is Teresa Croft of the Kingdom Messenger Network.com with a special word for you. Kingdom Destiny, you are God's special sauce. My family and I have been stretched in new ways in service to the Lord this past month at a Christian retreat center here in the North Georgia Mountains. It's called Fellowship Valley. Yesterday's work crews assembled to volunteer their time. My daughter Anna and I toiled in the kitchen over pots and pans. Now, we didn't cook, but we were there to serve and clean up so the director, Tina Bonawa, could be free to direct the volunteers who came to paint and build and clear brush. Just basically get Fellowship Valley looking great because in one week, a live wedding was going to take place. Now, God was awesome. He answered our prayers, kept the rain away from this beautiful expanse of land so we could get the much-needed work done as a rush of retreats and that wedding were drawing near. Working alongside my daughter in the kitchen was very precious. She has grown so much in the Word and in a servant's heart these past few months. Today, after breakfast, she said something that touched me so dearly. She said, Mom, I want to go back to the cabin to rest and spend time in the Word. I had that same thought as I know our ministering, even in the kitchen, must have its source in the vine out of the overflow of Him. Which leads me to this quote from 20th century prophet A.W. Tozer. He wrote, The whole Bible and past history unite to teach that battles are already won before the armies take the field. The critical moment for any armor army is not the day it engages the foe in actual combat. It is the day before or the month or the year before. As the days get darker, I have no doubt we are in the midst of battles. Our preparation for these conflicts is crucial. My husband, Pastor Dave, has set aside his normal work to spend over three years of intense prayer, fasting, and hours digging in the Word. Now, despite the criticism and darts from on, uh, people who don't understand, family and friends, he has boldly told his children that we are a missionary family. We are missionaries to America. So I ask you, what's your assignment? You and your message has a specific purpose for this day. Your destiny is great, my friend. No matter the trials and spills of the past, God is forming you to impact others. I believe right now God is gathering His kingdom-minded servants who are fueled by intercession, not the approval of man, preparing for the battles of head, ahead. These men and women, like you, walk not in fear, but faith in these last days. You are that servant. Take heart now if you feel like your kingdom business or your ministry is on the back burner. It may be hot and crusty and barren. Remember this, His hand is on the temperature dial. He won't let you burn or boil to spilling over as He stirs you to His perfection. Soak in His Word. Listen to His voice. Obey His gentle directions, for He is the Master Chef. It's just time to simmer so He can get all the ingredients together in one accord. All those ingredients together inside of you. So do not fret, do not worry. You, my friend, are his special sauce to be poured out for his glory. If you are thrust now in the fullness of the manifestation of your vision, remember to stay close to the source, Jesus. Don't be so busy about the Lord's work that you forget to get alone, to pray, read his word, and listen to his voice. He is the one who fills your cup to overflowing. Out of that overflow comes the grace, wisdom, glory, and power to be God's man, God's woman, God's kingdom messenger for these final days. You need his revelation to be his solution for the fears and tears of others. Let me repeat that. You need his revelation to be his solution 
for the fears and tears of others. There are many battles ahead as our nation goes through this coming election. You have no need to fear. Nothing is taking God by surprise. The culmination of all these battles means one thing. Jesus Christ's finished work on the cross has secured that the war has been won. Yes, we still have battles and a message to deliver. Rest, trust, work, walk in faith, stand in your kingdom authority, pray, fight, be strong in the power of his might, cling to his word, cling to Jesus. And watch God, and watch as God propels you and your message to the nations to be a voice for him. They are coming, you know, the people, the battles, the challenges, the highs and lows. Are you ready? You know what? It's never too late to put on your armor. Stay with the vine. Get in the vine. Abide in him. As you remain in him, obey his word, and you will never be in lack amidst the manifestation of your destiny.